Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given that the three registers R1, R2 and R3 are storing the numbers in a IEEE single position format. And here, we have been also given the values of these registers R1 and R2 in the hexadecimal format. So here, we have been given that the register R3 is equal to R1 divided by R2. And with this relation, we have been asked to find the stored value in the register R3. So in the question, we have been already given the values of the register R1 and R2 in the hexadecimal format. So for the given values, first of all, let us find the equivalent decimal number. And first, let us take the case of the R1. So to find the equivalent decimal value, first of all, let us represent the given value in the binary form. So we know that the 4 in the binary is equal to 0, 1, 0, 0. And similarly, the 2 in the binary is equal to 0, 0, 1, 0. So this is the equivalent binary value corresponding to the hexadecimal number. That means in the register R1, this 32-bit number is stored in the single position format. So we know that in the single position format, the first bit represents the sign bit. And in this case, that is equal to 0. Then after, the next 8-bit represents the exponent value. And then after, the next 23 bit represents the mantisa. That means here, the same number is represented in the three different fields. That is sine, exponent and the mantisa. So as you can see over here, the sine bit is equal to 0, which indicates that the given number is the positive number. Then after, if we see the exponent, then that is equal to 1000, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. And in the decimal, that corresponds to 132. Now we know that in this single position format, the exponent is the biased exponent. That means in the exponent, the bias value of 127 is added and then after this exponent is stored. So if you want to find the actual value of the exponent, then we need to subtract this bias. So we can say that for the given number, the actual value of the exponent is equal to 5. That means the exponential term is equal to 2 to the power 5. So similarly, now let us see the mantisa part. So we know that in this IEEE single position format, just before this fractional part, we have the binary point. And the digit just before the binary point is always equal to 1. That means for the given number, this is the actual value of the mantisa. And along with that, if we add the exponential term, then this is the corresponding normalized representation for the given number. So for the given normalized representation, now let us find the equivalent binary value. And for that, we need to shift this binary point towards the right side by 5 bits. Because here, this exponent is equal to 5. That means if we see the corresponding binary value, then that is equal to 101000. And here, we can remove all these zeros. That means the value which is stored in the register R1 is equal to 101000. And if we see the equivalent decimal value, then that is equal to 40. So we can say that the number which is stored in the register R1 corresponds to plus 40. So similarly, let us find the equivalent decimal value corresponding to the register R2. So this is the value of the register R2 in the hexadecimal form. So first of all, let us convert it into the equivalent binary form. So we know that the C in the binary corresponds to 1100. And likewise, this 1 in the hexadecimal corresponds to 0001 in the binary. And likewise, this 2 corresponds to 0, 0, 1, 0. And here, all these zeros can be written like this. That means this is the equivalent binary value corresponding to the given hexadecimal number. So once again, let us represent the given binary value in the equivalent IEEE format. So we know that in this single position format, the first bit corresponds to the sign bit. And in this case, that is equal to 1. Then after, the next 8 bits corresponds to the exponent and then after, the next 23 bits corresponds to the mantisa part. So here, since the sign bit is equal to 1, so the given number is the negative number. And here, the value of the exponent is equal to 1000010010. And in the decimal, that corresponds to 130. So once again, to find the actual value of the exponent, we need to subtract the bias from the given value. That means the actual value of the exponent is equal to 3. Or we can say that for the given number, the exponential term 
is equal to 2 to the power 3. So now let us see the Mantisa part. So we know that when the floating point number is represented in the normalized form, then just before this fractional part, we have the binary point. And the digit before the binary point will always remain 1. That means this is the actual value of the Mantisa for the given number. And along with the exponent value, this is the corresponding normalized representation for the given number. So now, let us represent the given number in the true binary form. And for that, we need to shift this radix points towards the right side by a 3 bits. Because here, this exponent is equal to 3. That means now, if we see the corresponding binary value, then that is equal to 1010.000. So here, we can remove all these zeros. That means here, the value in the register R2 corresponds to 1010 in the binary. And in the decimal, that corresponds to 10. But here, since the sign bit is equal to 1, so this number is the negative number. That means if we see the corresponding decimal value, then that is equal to minus 10. That means the number stored in the register R2 is equal to minus 10. So in this way, the number in the R1 is equal to 40, while the number which is stored in the R2 is equal to minus 10. And if we take the ratio of these two values, then that is equal to minus 4. That means the value which is stored in the register R3 is equal to minus 4. So now, let us find the corresponding stored value in the register R3 in the IEEE format. And for that, first of all, let us represent the given number in the binary form. So in the binary, this 4 corresponds to 100. And if we normalize this value, then this is how it can be represented. Because we know that in the normalized form, we have only one significant digit before the binary point. And that digit is also equal to 1. That means the minus 4 in the normalized form is equal to minus 1.00 times 2 to the power 2. So here, the exponent is equal to 2, while the fractional part of the number is equal to 0. And as you can see, the given number is the negative number. So now, let us represent this normalized number in the 32-bit format. So here, to store this number in the 32-bit format, First of all, let us find the equivalent exponent value. So we know that in the 32-bit format, the exponent is stored in the biased format. And for that, the bias of 127 is added to the actual exponent value. So if we add this 127 in the exponent value, then the corresponding value is equal to 129. And now, let us write the equivalent binary value in the 32-bit format. So here, since the number is the negative number, so the sign bit will be equal to 1. And here, this biased exponent value is equal to 129. So in the decimal, that corresponds to 1000001. And as you can see over here, this fractional part is equal to 0. That means here, this mantisa will remain 0. That means this is the 32-bit number corresponding to the R3. So here, since we have been asked to find the equivalent hexadecimal value, so let us represent the given number in the hexadecimal format. And for that, let us make the group of 4. So here, the first group is equal to 1100. 0, 0. Then after, the next group is equal to 0000. 0, 0, 0. Then after, if you see, then the third group is equal to 1000. 0, 0, 0. And then after, we will have the group of 5 zeros. So now, this 1100 0, 0 corresponds to C in the hexadecimal. Likewise, the 0 corresponds to 0. And this 1000 0, 0 corresponds to 8. And then after, we will have the 5 zeros. That means the equivalent hexadecimal value which is stored in the register R3 is equal to C08000000. And from this we can say that for the given question, this B is the correct answer.